Hey, it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be right without um, you know toasting um, Chardonnay Day 2020 without a glass of uh, the food of Chardonnay. Oh no, I definitely, yeah, yeah. Even though it is eight o'clock in the morning, no. it's the right time. <laughs> it's always uh, twelve o'clock somewhere, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, Oscar. Never to run Exactly. We must say we don't do this normally, right? <laughs> special wine huh it certainly is like it's uh it's always interesting tasting wine outside and uh i love it especially when you're actually tasting at the vineyard where it's made this, this wine really jumps out of the grass for me it's um really expressive and the, fir the first thing for me is you just get this smack of chardonnay like it's so varietal and the food are uh, the barrels that we're using to burn in and uh, mature the wine in pretty special pretty unique yeah, quite quite unique. Um, certainly quite unique in Marlborough, and uh, yeah, this this would be one of the few Chardonnays in Marlborough that's fermented in in fooders. And obviously, being a one thousand litre barrel uh, makes a big difference. You've got very thick staves, so they really retain the temperature of the ferment quite a lot. Um, and also, they're German oak, so German oak tends to be quite different to your classic French. It's less of the sort of the the dark spice characters and the toastiness. You, you tend to get really lovely florals, and it just frames the natural flavour of the vineyard. With sort of delicate florals, yellow flowers, and uh, and that sort of seems to work beautifully well with with, with Clavin, because Clavin naturally has those characters anyway. Um, so no, it's, it makes for a really lovely wine. Yeah, well done, Fabiano. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah. Thank well you. done, Duncan. Cheers.